We're going to see you next day. Obviously, this cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Ugh. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I finally realized what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you.
There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Man looks loyal. <laughs> Was meant for me. That was pitiful. And send her. I won't rest. Was that your best? Send her. Pretty good. It is not right. That's as bad as it gets. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Descend Incendio! Think you're clever, don't you? Defendo! Ah. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelio! This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Such arrogance. <laughs> 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 Incendio. You're making this <laughs> You're like a clum bubble. Oh, I have been. Oh. Bombarda. You won't get away with that. 
Incendio. Confringo! What are you doing? What is this? And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. For better or for worse, we're in. Huh? This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. An intruder! I won't rest until you're dead. Why don't you come up here and fight me? Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Incendio! That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs. Or any We're number of endearing qualities, really. <sighs> Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs.
We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared sentence. We've still not seen a single rune. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Is somebody there? Uh, not your best moment. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. Incendio! Revelio! A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rooms. Wasn't expecting that. Rebelli. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us Sebastian, more of this. Sebastian, I mystery. think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If 
the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. I've always... 
always said that travel broadens the mind. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Why did he challenge that? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. 
A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Harlow that we Rebellion. Need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not Rebellion. think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. <laughs> I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Rebellion. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. Revelio! not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. How nice to see you, my young... Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> They're Strauss. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death Rebellion. deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. 
Revelio. beginning. Rebellion. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. You take it. Please, I need your help. 
Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Akio! Hello, Homura. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. About them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. Rebellion. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jilla. Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking traveling vendors. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one. Which means he's free to do what he wants down in... Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, in fact, I... My price is a low enough all. What do you have? I... My ingredients... What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. to see you again sometime.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Reve Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! 
Over here. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? Bombarda! You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Incendio! Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Incendio. Rebellion. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. I do that. Incendio! Occasionally. Incendio! Bombarda! Defender! Can bring them! Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Journal entry signed by Noctua Gorn. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. <laughs> 